Shalom family, this is Brother Colby. Uh, I guess a little over a week ago or so, uh, I had a dream. And I didn't write it down in my journal, my bad. I did share it with a couple of close friends in my inner circle. And for some reason, this past few days, it's it's, it's been back on my mind. And, and I've been pondering on it. And I truly don't know why. So I'm going to tell you about the dream, and then I'm going to tell you about some important matters about persecution and what I'm seeing and I'm feeling in my spirit. And then I'm going to share this video link that I wish every Christian needs to watch, every true Christian needs to watch. Because it, it educated me some stuff that I didn't know that I needed to know, okay? So I'm going to get in the dream. In my dream, I, I knew, I saw, I should say, in the far back left corner it was a catholic church i knew that i knew it was a catholic church without a hand of a doubt it was a catholic church and out of this catholic church came out these big black spiders man anybody knows me i hate spiders it's the most ugliest thing in the world to me okay i just oh, I, I hate them i scared of them i just oh and it was big and it was solid black and one like came for me, like he was hunting me down or wanted me. And this thing must have been at least four foot wide with his legs up like that. You know, if it was flat, it'd have been bigger than four feet. But one came up to me and managed to push me down on my back. And it climbed on top of me, man. Ooh. And it like it reared back and paused and it like it was flaunting its fangs it wanted me to see its fangs and they were well over a foot long each and i'm like oh and about that time i felt a gun or something in my right hand that i didn't know it was there and it was some type of a subcompact shotgun or something and with four rounds it threw this thing off of me by the grace of God, it, it was off of me. And that was the end of the dream. Now, me personally, I'm going to keep an eye on the Catholic Church. Uh, maybe something uglier is going to come out of it. I don't know. Take this to the Lord in prayer, guys. But I assure you, I promise you, I didn't watch nothing about the Catholics or nothing before I went to bed. I knew that the Reformers had issues with the, the Catholic Church and stuff. Now, this is the message I wanted to tell you about. I just know in my spirit, and it's been this past week, I know persecution's coming. The scriptures foretell of it to come. And with this Palestinian uh, protest and, you know, what happened and, and things, a lot of Christians here, they just think, oh, that's just over there. That just has to do with the Jews. And they, they know it's here. And... And I realize it's more than just the Muslims that want us dead. Okay? And that's what that link is going to talk a little bit about. And my prayer this past week is, Lord, give us the strength and the courage that these people before us, you know, the endurance, and whatever they had to face when they went through persecution. Some were burned at the stake. Some were, you go down the list, man. Okay, this video link. I'm putting this the same video link I just put in my uh, community post page. Now, for some reason YouTube's not letting me see every comment. There's there's a certain comment or two that I YouTube won't show me. I don't know if it's from a particular person or a, per, a particular individual, or it's comments on a certain topic. It just won't let me see it. Even if I look through my wife's phone through my account, it won't let me see it. Okay, so you probably see it. I can't see it. So if I didn't respond, look, I'm sorry. It's not my fault. Okay. Guys, if you study the Reformation of the church, and I'm going to put this out there, I'm just going to say it. You understood that they wanted liberty. They wanted nothing to do with the government. They wanted to separate away from the state. Because back in the day, it was like a state church. Catholicism was a state church. They ran everything. And they wanted liberty to worship the Lord to what they saw fit, you know? If these reformers were alive today, they would not would not have nothing to do with the 501c3. I guarantee you that. So, yes, I am against the 501c3. And there's other reasons why. Because you read your, read an 86-page document, and you're like, oh. But 
this video links about the reformers and what the persecution and others that went through. But it's about what the Pope's been saying the past couple hundred years that I didn't know and, and about Jesuits and I believe this is still happening today, guys. So apparently it's not just the Muslims that want us dead either. They all work for the devil, obviously, the Muslims and the Jesuits and stuff. But uh, please send this video link below. Please share that one. I want to ask you to share it. I never ask nobody to share enough, but please share that link. We Christians need it understand some things we, we need to stop being dumbed down and do our own research and dig in okay i love you and bless you and shalom people